Hey everybody, it's Kevin from 3D Printed Props. In today's video, we're gonna work on another model from Sanex over on Malik's 3D Design, and it's right behind me. We're gonna be working on this really fun, there goes the batteries, this really fun um, Iron Man statue. I did quite a ways back, and I'm finally getting around to doing a video on this. Okay, so this is another model from uh, Malik's 3D Design, and it's got a little spider web there. That's how long I've had this and not done a video. Now, I did watch a video on Tested about doing this sort of um, uh, fairy lights with the little, uh, the cottony stuff to make it look like jets. I put some in his hands, some lights in his chest, in his eyes. That was really fun. <laughs> And uh, just a cool, uh, you know, standard Iron Man paint job. I really dig this. I love the, 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 this other element, sort of like the She-Hulk one, adding something outside of the 3D print to really make it uh, feel more real and more authentic. I've been watching a lot of model making channels that do model train stuff and how they create things. And stuff's just fascinating. Um, let's go ahead behind the fake wall and see how I put this guy together. Okay, so I started off just doing the normal thing, sanding and priming and then wet sanding after I got down to the right grit. Now, once you've wet sanded, you get this kind of filmy stuff all over it, it's residue. You want to wash it off with soap and water and let these things air dry. Now it's time to put on some chrome paint and this, all the links will be below with what kind of chrome paint this is. It's just cheap chrome paint from a hardware store and you got to coat everything with that first and it looks awesome it looks like almost like a, a mark one but to hold, put this red down you have to have the chrome first and i've used this red a lot red hood things like that it's the perfect iron man red it's also why you know i, I went ahead and spray painted this because i wanted that sort of metallic -y look that i wasn't going to get if i sort of just paint brushed it on uh or i could have airbrushed it but i like this red from this particular uh it's dupla color i can't remember what it's exact, exactly called but it's dupla color the links will be below now it's fun time the reverse of the nightmare time you have when you're taping um uh, although some people do like that i i do not like it uh and now we're just taking the tape off and you can see that of course it's peeling some of the paint off uh, this is the problem sometimes when you have such a fine detail and you're taping and you're painting paint sort of blobbing around a tape no matter how hard you try but you know you just gotta go with and have fun and you know maybe cover it up with some other kinds of paints or add LED to make everyone look at those <laughs> so here it is uh, I wired it up drilled holes through everything and then i uh, just going to sort of glue the base. Funny story here. When I was drilling this in, my wife came down. We started talking. I put a little too much pressure on the drill. And this plastic drill bit went right into my finger. Had to go to the hospital. Uh, missed the bone by, I guess they said, an eighth of an inch. Uh, and I got a couple stitches. Real fun. So what we just missed there was I'm putting the LED in. And here we go, putting the LED in the head area. And this was uh, an easy thing to do because I just, I didn't need to put two for the eyes. I just needed one big one. And now, yeah, fun stuff, right? We're going to go ahead and tape it up again. And the Oscar goes to, no, I'm just kidding. I'm not a very big Oscar fan. They're too long and they're too boring. So uh, I'm just peeling all the tape off here. And I, was, I used a mixture of... You know, blue tape, those sort of green tapes, the, the painter's tapes, and some of that uh, Tamiya or Tamiya or however you say it uh, tape. Links will be below on that stuff. Uh, Bill Duran turned me on to that and his videos, and it's such fine detail stuff. It's amazing. And it is so cool when you're peeling tape off. Um, not this time, because there's just so much of it and so tiny. It was a royal pain in the butt. Uh, but there he is. Looks pretty cool. The base is there. I went ahead and drilled two holes in that. Uh, one, I'm going to sort of goo up with some hot glue. And I'm going to use a uh, brass pole for that. Uh, I was going to use um, just wooden pole, but I had an extra one of these. And this gets a little weighty with the lights and everything, so I use that. And I'm just going to let that sit to make sure it dries. 
and now it's time to glue the head on now what I did was I found some you know frosted plastic and I just sort of cut it out and I slid it in there and glued it in place so the eyes uh, I have that white look to it but it's just nice diffuse plastic and it's actually from the box that my CPAP mask comes in <laughs> I save them and I use them for diffusion they're fantastic and there it is now yes I do need to add some more um, cotton batting there because there's some blank spots but I am super happy with how this turned out it's an uh, FDM print it's standard so I couldn't get it as shiny or as you know smooth as I wanted you might be noticing his finger is a little black that and some paint pot spots are missing but like I said in the video I did this a while ago and I've brought it to four shows since then and uh, I dropped it and things happened. Kids picked it up. Somebody broke an arm off. I had to glue it back on. These things happen. Overall, though, I am still super happy with how it turned out. I love the pose. I love that smoke that I made. And I'm getting into doing more of that and more of creating terrains. And what I'm doing is I'm watching um, model makers, uh, people that make model trains, people that do D&D miniatures, and what they do when they're piecing their parts together. And you can see, get really up close on this, it's not super, super perfect. But you know what? I'm happy with it. It looks cool. Uh, it looks like Iron Man, and I dig it. All right, and there we go. Again, the biggest pain of this kind of model is taping stuff off. Once you've taped stuff off, once you've painted it, the rest was really super easy. Again, this is just batting, you know, very cheap fairy lights. You can get those uh, in the links below. I got them on... Uh, Amazon big surprise um, everything will be in the links below and I just love it just gives it a little you know a little extra something and the lights in the hands really uh, make the figure stand out and look pretty sharp uh, Malik's 3d design.com they he knocked it out of the park again with this one uh, I don't get any money to do these videos for him I don't I pay for these files um, I think you should support modelers that really kick out a great product and uh, yeah, I just I just dig his stuff. <laughs> All right, guys, I hope you liked the video. And oh, the battery's just died. <laughs> hope you liked the video. If you do, please click like and subscribe. Hit the little bell, and this way you'll know when new videos are coming out. And of course, everything I used to make this will be in the links below. All right, guys, have a good night and take it easy. Bye bye.